Okay, so Newton's three laws. Uh, the first law and the third law are pretty easy to remember, but people tend to go hooey on the second law, but don't worry, I'll hopefully I'll be able to clear it up for you. The TEK we're working with today is this one, 8.6c, which says the student will investigate and describe applications of Newton's law of inertia, the law of force and acceleration, and the law of action and reaction, such as in vehicle restraints, sports activities, amusement park rides, Earth's tectonic activities, and rocket launches. Oh, and by the way, you don't have to worry about like writing this part down. I'll tell you when to write the important stuff. First law of motion. Inertia. Now most of y'all remember inertia from sixth grade as what slows things down, and that's not entirely true. What it means is that an object at rest will stay at rest and an object in motion will stay in motion unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. Easy way to remember this, objects are lazy. They want to keep doing what they're doing. If they're sitting there, they want to stay sitting. If they're moving, they want to keep moving. Here's a really exciting example. Pumpkins. There they are. Being all pumpkin-y. And they're going to keep being pumpkins and sitting in that pile until the end of time, until an unbalanced force comes along, like you throwing them at your brother. That's inertia. The pumpkins aren't going to go anywhere because objects have inertia. They want to stay doing what they're doing. The pumpkins are going to stay there. If they're in motion, they want to stay in motion. If they're motionless, they want to stop moving. Here's another example. This golf ball. Wow. Cool, man. Once you hit that golf ball, if you're in space or on the moon or something, it just keeps on going. Well, the moon, not really. It goes for a really long way. But if you're in space away from any gravity, it just goes forever. On Earth, it hits the ground again because we have gravity and air resistance and all like that. But with true inertia, it just keeps on going forever. By corollary, if you have the same golf ball just sitting there on the tee, it would sit there forever. So objects in motion want to stay in motion, and objects at rest want to stay at rest, unless something acts upon them. Now here's a little bit cooler way of demonstrating it. We're going to do it with car crashes. Okay, You're going to see two. Uh, the first one, our crash test dummy, isn't secured with anything. He's just sitting in the car. And the second one, he's wearing a seatbelt. Okay, take a look at this. 